having reflected so much, practiced contemplation, why should such an individual lose a physical body? Another ten years more, what has nature going to lose? Had he got a little more time, he would have raged. Instead, he dies. And the poor boy is born again. Should he not again study from alphabets onwards? Grammar, the language, then enter the Upanishads and the Ramayana and Bhagavad or whatever the scriptural textbook. Then hear all about it from the teacher. Then reflect upon it. Unnecessarily, 20, 30 years have been wasted for studying what I've been already studied. Is it not a waste? No. From childhood onwards, he picks up everything. Once the teacher tells him the alphabets, he got it. Once he just passes through or reads through the grammar, the grammar has already come. The Upanishads and others, by the time the teacher explains, he has already understood. How can that be? Tatra, there in this new body, buddhi yoga. You come to come in contact with your own intellect. Lavade paurade he come. The understanding and knowledge that you had in the previous body comes and pulls out into you. How do you explain that a youngster within a few years of training becomes the greatest emissary? Those who are been who are now doctors, could you explain to me here why you took good medicine? <laughs> I saw I from childhood onwards. I always wanted to be a doctor. What did you know at that time of medicine? No, I did not know anything. If you don't know anything, how can there be a desire for it? No, I didn't know it, but I always wanted to be a doctor. I always wanted to be a, a journalist, or an engineer, or an actor. <clears throat> you may not remember the details of the previous life. Who was your wife? How many children you had? These details you don't remember. But you have that knowledge. You have only to be reminded that some people have got that fascination to study science. Others are there that however much you may try to teach him science, science will never go in. Some are born with an instinct for mathematics. I am one of those who had never done mathematics in any of my previous life. Why? I don't know what exactly is 2 plus 8. I got a doubt, 11 or 12. <laughs> I can't. While there are people who can remember all high uh, phone number, there are others who can only mathematics from morning till evening. They're fascinated by it, enchanted by it. But they can't understand Gita also. You, Swami, Gita is a terrible difficult. Why? In the past life, you have never read the Gita. Paura Dehigam. Yatato Chatato Bhuya. You will be, that individual student will be putting forth the effort. Now you are young. At that time, you are old. Therefore, you put forth the effort with all enthusiasm. Samsitho Guru Nandana. Hey Arjuna, Guru, son of the Guru family, member of the Guru family, please understand that he has not lost anything. He has only to hear once. He gathers and understands it all as though he is only remembering them. All knowledge comes to him. That what he had already studied in the past. Continue.